Thank you. No problem. All right. So I'm Emily. I'm from our RTO gaming team. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I, uh, I've been involved with CASA since last conference. I was one of our uh, talkers last year, and they broke me in, and they haven't let me go since. So I'm here to give a very brief little chat about what we are doing with our RTO gaming education team. So the main thing we're doing right now with our is we're really focusing on our RTO gaming modules. And I hear you wondering, what are the RTO gaming modules? And you might even be wondering what is RTO gaming in itself. So RTO gaming is a new field that integrates uh, that integrates the methods of archaeological discovery in the environment of video games. We do interactive and collaborative play to teach and learn about the past. And we've been using these to create our RTO gaming modules. And our RTO gaming modules are little packets of information with a video that we've been making as the RTO gaming team to give out to different education groups. We've been mainly uh, working towards getting, I've been getting information and creating our stuff for middle schoolers, eight to six to eight, but we're hoping to eventually move on to doing more with stuff in both elementary and more with older groups. So each RTO gaming module is focused on one topic. Currently, we have four RTO gaming modules out right now, and they are dealing with topics such as ancient Ireland, uh, the Roman roads and Roman Empire building, Greek pottery, and ancient Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt uh, city building. So each of these modules are created with scholars that have volunteered to help us with the thing with the modules. Each one is created with feedback from these scholars by us at the RTO Gaming Team. There's a couple of us who are working on it. I've just been the one volunteered to come today. <laughs> Little joke. And these topics are each illustrated through video games. So why are these Marcio gaming modules so important? Well, I think that they are important for a number of reasons. Each one of them is going out to a number of people and they're going out for, the, for a number of different reasons. Each teacher has their own play of mind when they're looking at these. But these are the reasons I think they are personally so important. The reason I feel so passionate about this because more and more, as we were talking about in the in just our previous session, people are learning about classical studies through the online world, and they're coming in in different ways. When I was in undergrad, a lot of the gateway drugs for classical studies was among people my age was the Disney movie history. And then with the people who were just a couple of years younger than me, the thing that got them interested in classical studies was Percy Jackson. And more and more we're seeing as more and more scholars are coming into the field, the thing that got them interested was video games. And going into schools with these RTO gaming modules using video games is so important for early outreach. Because as we're finding, as we're getting feedback from teachers, teachers are telling us that they didn't realize how important video games were to these early developing outreach kinds of thoughts. Unfortunately, video games have, have a bad reputation as a time waster. And these oftentimes teachers felt reluctant to use these kinds of video games or video gaming things in the classroom to fear it was coming across as time wasting. With these video gaming modules, we're able to take video games into the classroom in a way that's both fun and educational. So these Modules are coming in and they are creating dynamic content that kids are able to interact with in person and they are able to handle in the classroom. Well, oftentimes the games that we're using maybe aren't always completely appropriate for kids outside of the classroom. The main example in that case is the well, oftentimes the main game we use is Assassin's Creed for wandering around areas and showing off different locations. While they may not be appropriate in full for children around sixth to eighth grade, they do oftentimes have modes of the game that can be used purely for scholarly content. And that's often what we use to create the game. So using it to create the module. So these the dynamic content is helping 
not only get kids interested, but they are able to do this burden on teachers, both in the US and abroad. We have, the thing that really surprised us when we started making these modules and after the first one went out was how many people, not only from the United States, but, but beyond the classroom, up beyond the United States were using these modules. I was handling feedback from people all the way from Greece to Italy, from Scandinavia, and we are able to perform outreach that is going into a whole new generation of scholars, not just here in the US, but abroad. We are impacting, this, these modules are having an impact on a whole generation of scholars well beyond what we were imagining. The first batch of Archeo gaming modules were created with the conjunction of the, uh, the state of New Jersey. And when we were creating them, it was maybe we would getting them beyond would be a great goal, but these things are already leading their goal and they're surpassing it and they're making an impact well beyond the typical boundaries. And another important thing for what these modules are doing. They are supporting augmentation of technology and bringing in familiar technology into the classroom. Like I said, there's an unfortunate stereotype of video games are simply something that is a time waster that kids shouldn't really be doing. And if they should, they, even if they are, they should be doing other things. But these are bringing in connections into the classroom. They're lifting the burdens off of teachers and they're bringing more and more information into the classroom and they're getting these kids interested early and they're getting them interested for life. And I know you're thinking these modules sound pretty great. So where can we find them? You can find them here at the download link for the RTO gaming modules. And if you're interested in working on these modules, please reach out to pbrevet at studies.org. We're working on a bunch of new exciting things. In the future, we should be, uh, we are finishing up a module on the Viking diaspora, which I'm really excited about. We've been doing a lot of work for, and we uh, have a really great scholar who's already involved in live streaming and integration of technology in new ways that aren't typical academia, but are bringing in new scholars, uh, new independent scholars in ways that haven't been done before. So he's pretty great. And, big plug for him. And, but we are hoping to have more and more modules coming out over time. We just need the resources and the scholars so that if you're possibly interested, please come and talk to us. We're more than happy to try and figure something out. And that's what I've got. So if anyone has any questions, I ran a bit under. I'd be more than happy to take questions. Thank you so much, Emily. That was a great presentation.